This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm Joe Ramsey. In a reversal of policy under former U.S. President Donald Trump, the State Department has disclosed the number of nuclear weapons in the U.S. stockpile. The department claims the number of U.S. weapons, including those in active status, as well as those in long-term storage, stood at 3,750 as of September 2020. As recently as 2003, the U.S. nuclear weapon total was slightly above 10,000. It peaked above 31,000 in 1967. U.S. President Joe Biden said on Tuesday he has spoken to Chinese President Xi Jinping about Taiwan, and they agreed to abide by the Taiwan Agreement as tensions have ratcheted up between Taipei and Beijing. Biden appeared to be referring to the Taiwan Relations Act, which makes clear the 1979 U.S. decision to establish diplomatic ties with Beijing instead of Taiwan, with the expectation the future of Taiwan will be determined by peaceful means. The comments to reporters at the White House on Tuesday come amid escalations in the Taiwan-China relationship, China claims Taiwan as its own territory, which should be taken by force if necessary. Taiwan says it's an independent country and will defend its freedoms and democracy, blaming China for the tensions. Officials said Tuesday the pipeline that leaked tens of thousands of gallons of oil into the water off Southern California was split open and apparently dragged more than 100 feet along the ocean floor, possibly by a ship's anchor. Find more at voanews.com or on the VOA mobile app. This is VOA News. Libya's legislative elections have been postponed until January. The country's eastern-based parliament said on Tuesday, instead of being held on December 24th as planned, elections are supposed to help unify the country after years of conflict and division. But disputes over their legal and constitutional basis have laid bare the extent of the split between the countries East and West. The House of Representatives has been in disagreement over electoral laws with a rival body, the equivalent of Libya's Senate in the western city of Tripoli. Libya has endured a decade of conflict since the 2011 fall of dictator Muammar Gaddafi in a NATO-backed uprising which unleashed a complex civil war that dragged in multiple foreign powers. A landmark ceasefire between eastern and western camps last year following a year-long bid by military strongman Khalifa Haftar to seize Tripoli paved the way to a UN-backed peace process. The Tripoli-based unity government took office in March with a mandate to lead the country to December elections. Southern African Regional Bloc, SADC, agreed at a summit on Tuesday to extend a troop deployment in Mozambique to help the government fight an Islamic State-linked insurgency. The troop deployment was initially for three months and due to end on October 15th. It's unknown how long the extension was approved for. Southern African nations agreed in June to send troops to help Mozambique respond to the insurgency, which is concentrated in the northern province of Cabo Delgado and has claimed thousands of lives since beginning in 2017. Rwanda began deploying soldiers in Mozambique a month later. The World Health Organization COVID-19 chief warned Tuesday, quote, we're not out of the woods in the fight against the pandemic, even if many people thought it was nearly over. She says last week 3.1 million known new cases were reported to the UN Health Agency and 54,000 more deaths, though the true numbers would likely be higher. She added, quote, what I really struggle with is in some cities we see the ICUs, intensive care units, and hospitals full and people dying, yet on the streets people are acting like it's completely over. Because of the way the world has handled the crisis, COVID-19 will not be eradicated and is here to stay, she added. And the World Health Organization says it's still reviewing data about Russia's Sputnik V vaccine as part of hopes that it can be approved by the UN Health Agency for emergency use against the coronavirus, but said Tuesday that no decision is imminent. I'm Joe Ramsey. VOA News.